In this tech tip video we will discuss the changes that were made on June 1st, 2017 regarding the reprogramming of the 2011 to 2013 Magneti Morelli hands-free module. YTEC will no longer support the reprogramming of these ECUs. If the user enters into YTEC, they will still see the lightning bolt and whether or not the ECU is up to date. The user can attempt to start the flash like normal, but YTEC will give the user an error stating the flash has been moved to Uconnect. Make sure to write down the current hands-free module part number as well as the part number to be updated to for future reference. Now you'll have to navigate to the Service tab in Dealer Connect. From there, select the Uconnect link under the Uconnect Command Center line. Then, scroll down and select Dealer Software Downloads. Keep in mind, the user must use a Windows PC running Windows 7 or 10 to utilize the hands-free module update tool. Now enter the vehicle VIN or select the gear, model, and radio. If there are available hands-free module flashes, they will be listed under the radio drop-down. Select Go and the applicable hands-free module flash will be displayed. Select the hands-free module update. Now you'll have to download the file. The user will have to select Mac under the selected OS. Keep in mind the user must be using a Windows PC to perform the flash. Selecting Mac is only used due to the format of the file. At this time, if the user selects Windows OS, the file will not be available. Once the file is downloaded, it will appear in a .zip format. You will have to extract both the items in this .zip file. This can be done by right-clicking the file and selecting Extract To. Now that the user has extracted the files, run the hands-free module USB flash install file. This install file will install the application that will perform the flash on the hands-free module. You only need to install this file the first time you perform a hands-free module flash. Once the installer is opened, run through the on-screen prompts to complete the install. At this time, the application does not automatically create a desktop icon or shortcut. To do so, you will have to navigate to the C drive, Program Files 86, Chrysler Group LLC, then Hands-Free Module USB Flash. You can then create the desired shortcut. In this example, I'm just going to pin it to the toolbar. Now it is time to start flashing the vehicle. Launch the Hands-Free Module USB Flash application, select Browse, and locate the bin file that was downloaded and extracted from the .zip file. Once you have located it, select Flash. The next screen will notify the user of any links to knowledge base articles that may assist the user during this flash process. Select OK. This screen will prompt the user to connect the needed cable to the applicable vehicle and to the PC. For the 2011 to 2013 Magneti Morelli hands-free module flash, the Charger 300 and Dart will use the orange cable, while the Journey will use the purple cable. The hands-free module in the Charger 300 and Dart is located under the driver's side kick panel. To access the hands-free module, you'll have to remove the instrument panel left end cap and the two screws for the knee blocker panel. Then you can pull down the knee blocker panel. For the Journey, you'll have to locate the USB connector located on the driver's side next to the DLC. Next, the user will have to locate the hands-free module fuse. The Charger 300 and Dart will be fuse number 23 in the trunk. The Journey will be fuse 131 under the passenger side IP. Once the user selects OK, remove the fuse. Now that it is removed, select OK and the user will be prompted to plug the fuse back in. This is to power cycle the hands-free module prior to starting the flash. Now hit OK and the flash will begin. Once the flash has completed, it will give a flash successful message. The flash process is now completed. To confirm the module is up to date, the user can launch YTEC and check that the current part number now matches the up to date part number. That's all for this video. For additional information, you can visit the FCA YTEC Knowledge Base or contact the YTEC Premium Support Help Desk.